I could have your attention, please. We're going to begin our program tonight. I know that many of you are still eating. Please continue to eat and enjoy your meal provided again by the uh, Farmersville Athletic Booster Club. Let's give them a big round of applause for tonight. So I, I'm the newest guy here at Farmersville, and I just want to say thank you mostly to the student athletes to be around y'all and watch the grit and the things that you do for this school district and the pride you bring. For me, has been a breath of fresh air, and I thank you for that. We have a couple of special of awards tonight. I'd like to bring up one of our school board mem members, Mr. Brian Brazel, to give it a special award. All right, good evening. Thank you all for coming out and supporting uh, the athletic department again. Special thanks to Jason McTee and his group for putting this all together. So, and uh, Aaron Clark for the barbecue, did a great job. Yeah. So I'm not in the program, so I'm not important enough to spend some ink on MACT. I noticed that, but I do have the distinct honor of giving a special award tonight. And when I started thinking about this man and how I was going to describe him, I didn't know if I wanted to start with, you know, he's a bus driver, he's a teacher, uh, he also is the PA guy at all of the sporting events here, he's the hype man for the pep rallies. Um, but he also does the live stream, which was new to Farmersville this year, and he did an awesome job with it. But I think the one descriptor of him that describes him the best is Kid Magnet. And Mr. G, we're talking about you, sir. And I was told I could put you on the spot, and I need you to come down here so I can give you this. So if you'll come down here real quick. While he's walking down here, I'm going to put him on the spot for a second time and tell a quick story. Um, at the football games this year, we every away game was a challenge. Some of those, uh, the press boxes we were in, we would literally stand on the top of it and hold each other so we wouldn't fall off. He would have his hand out the window trying to find a hot spot for a signal. Um, it was just kind of chaos behind the scenes, and he's back there. The, the orchestra master who's just telling everybody what to do and it all comes off great. One time though, he was really mad because he couldn't get a signal. The, the field mic wasn't working and I could hear him on the microphone because someone couldn't hear him and he, was, he, he burped really loud. And he said, well, did y'all hear that? And one of the kids was like, uh, the announcers can hear you. And then he gets on and goes, hey, you guys are doing a great job by the way. <laughs> so, Mr. G, we just want to say, and this is from all of Farmer Nation, not just from us and the school board and the coaches and everybody, but we really appreciate what you did for us this year, everything that you do for us, and we're looking forward to what the future holds. So thank you so much. Hey, I've been doing this a long time, which really just means I'm old, but every great program that you go to, there is some guy, some person, some man or lady that's laying it on the line to show off on his. That's our Mr. G. Thank you very much. Okay. Right now, our superintendent of schools, Mr. Michael French, is going to come up and really give out a very, very special award tonight. And uh, just want to thank Mr. French and all of our administration for pushing that bond out there and thank y'all for what you did for that. We give you a round of applause for that bond. <laughs> Mr. French. Thank you, Coach Barnes. It's my distinct honor to present a special recognition to a very, very special farmer. This gentleman bleeds purple and gold. He loves this school, he loves this community, and he absolutely loves athletics and really, really loves football. Jason McTee used to take him to the games, but he was late one time. So McTee got fired, and Tony Gray got hired. At this time, I would like to present an award to my friend and a friend to all farmers, Matthew Wilson. Thank you. 
But over here, Matthew. Now, Matthew shows up early at all the events because he need, has to have time to take pictures and post them. Now, Matthew, what I have here is a lifetime pass. If it's a Farmersville ISD athletic event, you get in free forever. We also have one more gift. I think our running back this year, who always carries it for the farmers, is going to be Matthew. That's right. First guy that I met the day that I drove over here to get the interview at the Exxon was Matthew, and we had a great talk. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, this guy bleeds purple farmers for us and lady farmers. One more round of applause for Matthew Wilson. <laughs> if I could have our athletic trainers please come forward onto the stage. Athletic trainers, please. Come on, ladies. All right, so, ladies, as we, and I got six, and I have four names. I need to, what, you'll tell me who they are, right? You only gave me four names. That's all right, we'll get them. Oh, okay, I got you. All right, our trainers do a whole lot more than carry ice and uh, you know, pat down players on the back or any of that. I promise you, they do a lot for our programs. We have hired our first, a full-time trainer, Ms. Carly Callender, which these young ladies will be under the direction of, and uh, we're excited about having them. I have this next, Ms. Abby Spruill, raise your hand. Thank you, Abby. Ms. Andre, Andrea Patino. Ms. Michelle Ortiz. And Ms. Mackenzie Gibson. And the other two, your name, Vanessa Ann and Gian. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. Mr. G, I jumped ahead. Would you hit that video, please? Destroy them. 
So don't show any weakness. Don't show any pain. Don't even feel any pain. Now is the time to let them know we will be victors. No one will get in the way of this victory. Brothers together, I'll fight for you. You fight for me. Together we fight to win. I'm looking for someone that would dare try to stop me. No one can stop me. No one can stop my team. No team will stop us if we stand together. All the hard work we put in will show on the field. The field of battle. Let's go win this championship. Thank you, Mr. G. That was absolutely, that was outstanding. Uh, can I have all of our golfers come up front real quick? All of our golfers? Come on. Come on, Brady. Come on, Coop. So I got Brady, I got Coop, and I got Brennan, and I got Logan. How'd I do? Is that right? Brady, Coop, Brennan, and Logan, right? This was our uh, golfers. We didn't have our girls golf team uh, make this year, but these guys, all of them played uh, golf for us. And Brady, your best round was 68? Like yeah, thank you very much. All right. Hey, these guys really, they do a lot. They're all great athletes. Uh, I really appreciate you guys and everything you do for us. Uh, Thanks again for being here. We have an award for you, I bet, somewhere. Can some... All right, turn around. All right, this year's most valuable player, 2021 for golf, is Brady Gray. Coach Wilfong for Team Tennis. Good evening, how are you guys? Thanks, thanks for the response. So this year was our pilot year for team tennis. It was super scary going in for me because I'm not a tennis person at all. Um, but after doing some research and spending the time with these kids in the fall, I fell in love with the sport and we had so much fun. Um, the student athletes that play tennis are way different from softball kids. <laughs> <laughs> way different you don't have to worry about you know their attitude or their grades or anything like that sorry girls softball you know you know it's kind of rough um, and they were just a blast to be around um, we competed well those of us that didn't know what was going on we learned a lot we closed the gap a lot and uh, we're gonna be very successful in the future uh, I'm gonna welcome up all of my team tennis members you guys come on up here
No, you are perfect saints. Thank you, boys, for being so well behaved. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I want to introduce these players uh, Sabrina Parker, Lily Wall, Phoebe Attaway, Morgan Pickett, Paige Lair, Maddie Hornbuckle, uh, Amber Price, Chloe Tanner for the girls' side. Oh, give them a round of applause, please. Our boys this year were Clay Cash, Josh Hoare, Sloan Thomas, Angel Lopez, Ty Thompson, Logan Lane, Jordan Herring, and Cole Wichenbach. Uh, again, it was so much fun. I had a blast with these players. They're competitive. They're eager to learn and grow. A lot of them are going to camps over the summer to get even better for next year, and I'm just so proud of the program that we're going to build in the future. This year, our MVP for our boy was Clay Cash. Our girl MVP was Sabrina Parker. And the Heart and Hustle Award, just this player kind of got thrown in many different directions early on. She fought hard in every single match, every single competition. Um, she got lined up with a lot of really, really tough competition and held her own through everything. And that goes to Lily Wall. Thank you, boys and girls, for such an amazing season. I had a blast. Next up is tennis with Coach Hogue. Can I get all of the varsity tennis players up on stage, please? Varsity tennis players, please. You can stand right in front of me. That's okay. I'm good with it, Clay. <laughs> oh, we're good. Uh, first off, I would like to thank everybody for um, their support this year. I'd like to thank the administration, the parents, the teachers that come support us, walk by, stop by at the tennis courts when we're playing, um, practicing every day. Uh, these kids work hard. They call and ask for extra time. They've done a great job this year. Um, Academic All District, we'll just go ahead and start with the awards. Academic All District, when I call your name, please grab your certificate. Sloan Thomas, Clay Cash, Kogan Grabowski, Reese Fetty, Sabrina Parker. Jensen McTee, Riley Ortega, Phoebe Attaway, Chloe Tanner, Rendy Fetty, Lexi Hacker, and Jaron Johnson. The uh, superlatives that go for the school here are most valuable girls tennis player for spring tennis is Sabrina Parker. Most valuable boys Tennis player goes to Kogan Grabowski. <laughs> the Tim Barber Award goes to Clay Cash. And then we also have 
regional qualifiers. These people did a great job representing us this year. Um, Sabrina Parker was a regional qualifier and competed in the regional tournament. She ran up against a fierce opponent in the sharp young lady from Anna, who is actually at the state tournament this week. We had a doubles partnership that actually went and were regional quarterfinalists this year. Riley Ortega and Jensen McTee. Yes, I have. And last, we have all state academic. These people work their tail off for four years and hold a high GPA. Uh, Reese Fetty. Clay Cash, Kogan Grabowski, and Sloan Thomas. I would like to thank all of these athletes and their parents for all your support. First off, for parents, thank you so much for all the Starbucks, the dinners that you brought up to the tennis courts when things were running long and we couldn't go anywhere or get away and for all these athletes up here that put in the time and the effort to do what they love to do and be so successful at it. Thank you for calling me after I've driven home and been up here till 5.30 and said, hey coach, we're done with softball practice. Can you come back up to the tennis courts? Yes. Thank you very much. I'm so blessed. Um, track and field. Okay, will the uh, girls track team go ahead and come on up? Yeah, I'll let them all come up. I don't know. They wouldn't let me wear it. How you doing? It's like practice. I see you every now and then. So, as they all walk up here, um, we had an awesome season this year. Uh, there's been a lot, a lot of ups and downs. First uh, track meet, we showed up with 12 girls, and uh, we ended up coming up second in that meet. We won our own meet. Um, and then all the way from Mara's uh, resignation letter, which was pretty awesome, if anybody got to hear that story, uh, all the way to the regional meet. So that was something that was pretty awesome from these girls. Um, we had, uh, I just want to kind of recognize two people real quick, the two seniors, Alex Brooks and Kylie Self. Uh, it kind of takes a lot for a person to end their season, end their, their athletic career running track and doing track. Um, but these two girls came out uh, every day for practice and showed up every day and did an awesome job for us. We had a pretty young team, uh, I would say mostly freshmen, which is pretty awesome. Um, but I want to go ahead and, and uh, for the area meet, we had our four by one, which was Sabrina Parker, Bailey Valiant, Morgan Irwin, and Kayla Huff. <laughs> and our four by four team, which was all freshmen, uh, Kayla Huff, Aubrey Varner, Ruby Patino, and Savannah Johnson. And then we had three regional qualifiers, which uh, Bailey qualified in the 200 and the uh, long jump. Alex Brooks in the discus. And Riley Ortega, which was also our district champ, uh, and the uh, shot put. So we're gonna hand out two superlative awards today. Number one was the track MVP, and that goes to Bailey Valiant. And then the second award is the James Page Award, which I got to speak with James Page's daughter, uh, Shelly Eves, and uh, talk to her a little bit about who James Page was. And he was kind of a guy that was a big track guy that was here. And he wanted somebody that wanted this award that kind of embraced what track's all about. Somebody showed up every day. Um, and this person showed up every day, sometimes with or without a coach, 
was up there, worked by herself, and broke a 37-year school record in the discus. <laughs> Alex Brooks. Thank you very much. If I could have our boys varsity track team come up, please. Varsity boys track. Or Coach Offord and Coach Howard are going to help me here. Drop the hat. Drop the hat. All right, real quick. I mean, uh, track and field is one of the toughest things that these kids will ever do. We push them to do this. We push them hard to get out there and run. In fact, they're going to run the workout regardless because uh, that's just the way it is. We do a lot of speed, speed training for our sports during the track season. I'm very proud of these young men. They did a great job in another shortened COVID-type year. And uh, thank God, I hope that's, that's gone away. Thank you guys for, I was proud watching everything you did. There ain't no quit in Farmersville kids. And that's what I love about it, because we do fight. Our uh, boys track, most valuable is? We have two of them, Josh Hoare and Brennan Pollard. If you could come forward. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Have a good day. <laughs> no, hey. Have you, have you take that out there, okay? We're done. We're done. What? I got you. What? Where's Powerlifting? Hey, I really had to get on my coaches about watching what they say. Look what I stole off Coach Wood. Look at his notes. So I <laughs> cut it back, dude. All right. Let's go. I'm glad everybody thought that was funny as I did. Uh, <laughs> can I get the boys and girls powerlifting team up here? He did save me, didn't he? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and announce the girls power lifter. <laughs> Don't laugh. We did have a small team, very few. Uh, we were triple what we are right now, so if that gives you an idea. But Mara, uh, she did a great job this year. She represented Farmersville ISD very well at uh, the one and only meet we got to go to. Um, you know, it was a challenge this year dealing with COVID and the Texas freeze. Uh, you know how that went, but uh, I just want to say congratulations, Marsh. You did a great job this year, and uh, I look forward to it next year. Thank you. Hello. Let me introduce the boys real quick. We have Colby Steinder, yeah. Jacob Toll, yeah. Jeremy Charez, uh -huh. Cash Witzel. And Avery Gordon. And yes, we might be a small group as far as the team goes, but these young men, they showed up 6.30 every morning. They work their tails off. They work early so they can go to other sports uh, in the afternoon. And I appreciate every one of them showing up at that time and putting in the work. Uh, as far as that, we actually, although we only have five here, we actually had two regional qualifiers and we had one state qualifier. Jacob Toll, I'm going to add a few pounds to you, Jacob. Jacob totaled 1,200 pounds to place fourth place at the regional meet for a young kid like he is. Uh, his upside sky's the limit for him. Colby Steinder totaled 1,625 pounds and placed second place in top two goes to state.
Easy. So state qualifier, Kobe Steinder. Kobe Steinder is actually up that total. He totaled 1,640 pounds. And yes, we're both a little bitter about it. Uh, we had a state championship for that long. It didn't quite work out for us, but he told us 1,640 pounds and placed second at state meet. That's awesome. So we give out one superlative every year. Our powerlifting most valuable lifter goes to Kobe Steinder. Thank you. All right, if we have our Coach Chase and Coach Norton come up for cross country. Coach Norton's gonna talk. Cross country people, come on up here, please. Okay, so as they're coming, just a couple things. I was a new cross country coach. Coach Wolfong mentioned that a minute ago, and, and I really leaned a lot on Coach Chase. He had done a little more cross country than I had, so I appreciate all that he did to help me get going. And then I appreciate the kids. I mean, we went to our first cross country meet in Kaufman and it was the first cross country meet I'd ever been to. So they taught me a lot and then um, and, and I enjoyed doing it because I enjoyed being around them. So we've got up here from left to right, Michaela Grabowski and Kate Rich, Maddie Toll and Lauren Hall are down here. Jacqueline Luna's not here tonight, but she also ran. And then this is Eamon Odom. We've got Logan Lane and Josh Hoare. We had a few more boys run that aren't here tonight. Just They were all varsity runners. So we hope to have a JV and a varsity next year. But these are the guys that we had this year. Both, really all four of these girls were academic all district. Um, Eamon was academic all district. Josh was academic all district. Josh was also first team academic all state back in the fall for cross country. So we give two cross country awards. There is a Farmer's Grit Award for both the girls and the boys. The Farmer's Grit Girl winner was Kate Rich. The Farmer's Grit Boy winner was Eamon Odom. And then our girls MVP was Michaela Grabowski. And the boys MVP was Joshua Orr. Thank you. Okay, we will begin our uh, basketball with our girls basketball and our head basketball coach, Coach Sandra Ho, Coach Oak. Can I get the managers and the varsity girls basketball to come up on stage, please? Again, I would like to take the time to thank our administrators from the top to the bottom. I'd also like to thank all the coaches that help in this area in basketball from the junior high coaching staff to the high school coaches. Coach Davis, Coach Sunshine Davis, Coach Alford, Coach Wilfong for driving the bus and stepping in when we needed her to, and Coach Fetty. Um, I'd like to thank the parents for all your support it's nice to see the stands full with you there. Your daughters definitely, no matter what they tell you, want you there. They may tell you, nah, it doesn't matter, but it does. It matters a lot, and we sure do appreciate it. Also want to thank the athletes. When I first came here, we got here, started practicing at 6 a.m. They got up, they came every morning, worked their tails off. Um, in the three years that I've been here with these girls, we have climbed the ladder. We went from tied for fourth and lost out to Caddo Mills because they beat us twice that season to the second year in 1920. And we finished third and lost to Van in the by district game. And then we also came back this year and we tied for second. So we're on the upward swing. And I appreciate all your hard work 
and you're buying into the program and you trusting me to guide you. And I, I really want to thank the parents for entrusting me with your daughters. I know that it is a huge responsibility and I'm blessed to have that. Thank you very much. Managers. Let's talk about the managers for a second. They're kind of the unsung heroes of all sports. They are the ones behind the scenes doing all the hard work and we have some of the very best in the basketball program. Uh, these girls also made academic all district. Avery Simpson, Rachel Maddox, here's Rachel's, Casey Davis, And there's one special manager. She's a senior this year. And without her by my side, things would go away real quick. She keeps me organized. She knows where everything is. So here lately, when things aren't right in the right spot, I'm like, Audrey, I need you. Where are you? Show up, please. Audrey Boring. These uh, young ladies also made academic all district. Jamie Varga. Wendy Trejo. Paige Lair. Angie Lee. Riley Ortega. Alex Brooks. Reese Fetty, Jensen McTee, Morgan Irwin, Kylie Self, the superlatives for the school. These are this award is split between two young ladies that fought very hard in their position. They um, got on the floor, dove after basketball, shot the ball even when they were scared to at times because they didn't want a red light. Morgan Irwin, Fighting Hard Award. Jensen McTee, Fighting Hard Award. This senior young lady was our defensive specialist. We put her on their, the best player on any other team, and she took care of business for us, night in and night out. We could call her number. Kylie Self is our girls basketball defensive MVP. <laughs> to talk about these next two young ladies, they uh, were over 50% of our scoring. So those of you sitting in the audience that are JV players now have the opportunity to step up in the shoes and make an impact because these ladies sure did. Alex Brooks is the girls offensive player of the year. <laughs> Reese Fetty is the most valuable girls basketball player. Now we also had all district selections. As you can see, we recognized them on our own team, but it was fabulous to see that they were recognized by all the coaches in our district. The all district offensive player of the year goes to Reese Fetty. <laughs> Kylie Self was also a first team all district player. Alex Brooks, first team all district. Jensen McTee, second team all district. Morgan Irwin, second team all district. As you can see, all starting five were all district selections on first and second team. These ladies, again, were academic all state. Wendy Trejo. Reese Fetty. 
Alex Brooks, <laughs> Kylie Self. She took your certificate. <laughs> Wendy did. <laughs> Audrey Boring. Again, thank you very much. Thank you, young ladies. Thank you, parents, for all the support and coming and decorating and, and giving snack bags and supporting us all the way through. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Coach Hogue, we thank you, too. You have done a great job with this program. We appreciate it. All right. Coach Roberts, if, you could, if we could have our varsity boys basketball team, please come up to the front stage, please. Um, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to the uh, parents that allowed and gave birth to these great young men up here. Um, as everybody knows, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a season that we wanted, but I wanted to say thank you to these guys who showed up every day, uh, put in the work. We got, we got so much better this season uh, for those younger ones coming up. Uh, we really, I'm really interested and excited to see what uh, we have going forward. Um, we have a, a few superlatives to give. Um, we'll start off by giving the Fighting Farmer Award, which goes to Jordan, uh, Jordan Herring. He's, uh, he's not here today because he had a, uh, some migraines going on, so uh, keep me in your prayers uh, right now. Uh, but he, was, he got our Fighting Farmer uh, Award. Um, next is, is, is our um, defensive MVP. And this guy, he showed up every game, and uh, he 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 put it, he put in work. Okay, so uh, that um, that award goes to Brajon Titwell. Our next award is for our offensive MVP. Uh, he shot great at times. He shot bad at times, <laughs> but he showed up every game and, and he put in work and I uh, could always uh, count on him to be there to, uh, to take some shots for us. Uh, Salone Thomas. Oh, also, also he, he wanted me to tell you that he played half the season with some displaced ribs. So everybody <laughs> tear up for him. All right. <laughs> All right, um, our last, uh, nope, which one is this? Our, um, our last award goes to, um, and I'm going to say a, little, a couple words about him, and, and he knows. It goes to uh, our offensive uh, most valuable player for basketball goes to Josh Hoare. And let me tell you, Josh came every single day and put in work. He called to open the gym. He showed up to open the gym every Sunday that we opened it. Uh, he played with a tooth in his head one game. I mean, if he was our workhorse, I mean, every minute he was on the court, he gave every bit of energy that he had. And um, we're, I'm, we're really going to miss that. So um, Josh was also our only player on our team that got a all district award. He had got first team all district. Um, we had a couple honorable mentions was Trey, uh, Trey Brewer, uh, Brajon Tidwell, Josh Herring, and Salone Thomas. Um, uh, who, what did I say? Well, oh, I'm sorry, Jordan Herring, my bad, Jordan, Jordan Herring. Uh, so I'm really proud of these guys, really excited. Uh, our young guys are already starting to show up for the spring, for spring basketball, and um, I'm really looking forward to next year, uh, putting in the work over the summer and next year so we can get back. Uh, and better each time we step on the court. So a round of applause for this group of guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Roberts, for, for handling that. If I could have Coach Chase up here. Coach, would you like to go ahead and do the, do the boys or girls first? If I could have a boys soccer team, please come up front. So as they're making their way up, up front, just give you a short recap of their season. Um, there was a lot of adversity on a lot of 
just a variety of ways that I've never seen before, and I've been coaching for 15 years. Between ice storm, mid-season coaching change, makeup dates, having to play four games in a week sometimes. It's, it's a nearly impossible task, but we had a handful of guys that did what we needed to do, competed hard, and even in a district as competitive as ours, we had a handful of individuals that earned all district and all state honors. So first off, I'd like to honor uh, Sebas Ruelas, who, who is academic all district, academic all state, and second team all district. Lalo Ortega, academic all district, academic all state. Rafa Mendoza. First team all district. And Jackson Madrid, honorable mention all district. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. And Farmersville Soccer has a pair of superlatives to hand to hand out. This year uh, we split the Fighting Heart Award between two seniors who just, I've enjoyed having them in my classroom, I've enjoyed having them on the pitch. They're just, I mean, if you get 11 of these guys, we can, we can go to battle. So our Fighting Heart Award winners are Lalo Ortega and Sebas Ruelas. And this year's MVP is a guy that you put him any, anywhere on the field, you put him in any lineup, and he's gonna get after it. He can score, he can defend, he can make plays. He's just all over the field. Our former MVP is Rafa Mendoza. Thank you, Thank you gentlemen. Well, our young ladies from soccer are making your way up. I just want to say a great thanks to Coach Chase, who stepped in in a very difficult, difficult time in our soccer program for our boys and just got after it and took it for the team. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that, Coach Chase. And I'm sorry that I left you off the first email that I sent to the staff, but we got that squared away. Thank you for your hard work. Girl soccer. With, with this group, the numbers really lie about the season we had. You know, seven and 16 overall, two and 12 in district, but you've got to put that in context. We had four of the top eight teams in the region were in our district. Two of the top four, our region champion and state semifinalists, and these kids went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. We went undefeated against 4A teams in pre-district, won a varsity tournament for the first time in school history. So they're, they're, we're, we're on the way up. So I'd like to start off with the district and state honors. Paige Lair, Academic All District. Aubrey Varner, Academic All District. Kate Rich, First Team All District and Academic All District. And to put that in perspective, we had team girls in our district by themselves who scored 50, 60, 70 goals and she earned first team recognition against them. So, extremely proud. <laughs> Cheyenne Rogers, Academic All District. <laughs> Ella Rudisil, Academic All District. <laughs> Maddie Price, Academic All State and Academic All District. <laughs> Michaela Grabowski, Academic All District. Savannah Johnson, Academic All District. <laughs> Kylie Self, Academic All State, Academic All District. <laughs> Ariana DiMatteo, Honorable Mention All District, Academic All District. <laughs> Lauren Hall, Academic All District. <laughs> Sullivan Baird, Academic All District. 
Phoebe Attaway, Academic All District. <laughs> Sabrina Parker, Second Team All District and Academic All District. <laughs> and Vanessa De Jesus, Academic All District. All right. yeah. Now for our school superlatives. Our, our Offensive Player of the Year was split between our leading assist creator and one of our leading scorers. So academic, or excuse me, Offensive Player of the Year, Sabrina Parker and Riley Dean. <laughs> our Defensive Player of the Year is probably our unsung hero. She's steady, plays tough without playing dirty. It, it's a kid that, you know, again, if we have multiple of her mentality about wanting to get better and learn and just be strong day after day after day, we'd be all set. Uh, Defensive Player of the Year, Cheyenne Rogers. <laughs> Our Finding Heart Award winners, <laughs> just, hey, you're playing this position today. Hey, we have an emergency. Can you fill in here? They both stepped up. Did, gave us a chance to win playing out of position m multiple times and just, again, it's just everything that we need a uh, lady farmer to be. Fighting Heart Award winners are Phoebe Attaway and Evelyn Prudencio. <laughs> and our most valuable player goes to somebody who, honestly, I can't, can't say enough good things about her abilities on the field. Honestly, if she's playing with, you know, if our numbers are a little bit better, she's an all-state player. Um, so our MVP this year is Kate Rich. Thank you, ladies. Yes. Thank you, Coach Chase. I appreciate you, ladies. Thank you very much. And Coach Chase, again, Thanks for stepping in that gap that we had to have you step in this year. Thank you so much. That's what coaching is really all about. Appreciate it. All right, Coach uh, Will Fong will come up and talk about our district championship girls softball team. Coach, however you want them, bring them up. Girls, go ahead and step up here. Don't worry, I'll lower it back down when you get up here. <laughs> so I want to start off by obviously just thanking our parents again, thanking our community members. Uh, we didn't go on a single road trip this year without getting fed an amazing meal. Um, we had a really good mama put that together for us and um, she did an awesome job making sure our food was on the bus every single trip. And then we have all of the mamas and daddies that do all the things in between who put together so many things. And I want to thank my folks. Um, I can call them one day and be like, Mom and Dad, we need a meal. And they'll be there with their smoker and their grill and cooking all the food for all the kids. And I really appreciate everything they do for us. Um, I also want to thank our admin. Uh, came in, you know, it's hard sometimes to make all the adjustments with all the new admin, but everyone has been so great to our kids and, and anything that we need, they're willing just to do whatever it takes to step in and uh, make it happen for our kids, and I love that. Um, there are just too many people to think. I, our live stream situation, uh, Brian Brazel and Jason McTee for micing up for us and making that happen and doing, you know, cheering our girls on and hyping them up every single week. Gotta love that. Uh, huge thank you to my managers. I don't think, yeah, <laughs> loyal here again today. Um, so our managers, all the behind the scenes work, all everything, things that you wouldn't even dream of a kid that age doing, they do it because Coach Wilfong is unorganized and chaotic and they keep it all together and I love that. Uh, big round of applause for just everyone that does the behind the scenes work for these girls. This year we went uh, 17, 8, and 1. Our girls did an amazing job. We are so young. Uh, the core group of our girls now are um, sophomores and freshmen. So because we didn't get a season last year, our sophomore group 
they're really like freshmen. I mean, we didn't get a chance to really close the gap. Our, that learning curve really wasn't there last year. So we have a whole bunch of freshmen that made up um, our core group of girls on our team, and I'm so grateful for them. They busted their butt day in and day out. They took a lot of scolding and a lot of telling, and um, it was beautiful to watch them grow, watch them work together, watch them learn to communicate in ways that they hadn't before. Uh, softball is a, it's a tough sport. You have to play the elements. You have to play <laughs> the coach. You have to play all the elements that come along with being outdoors. It's, it's really a, a, you know, gritty sport, and these girls really, uh, they shined all year long, and it was great to watch. So let's start with the awards. Um, we'll go, I have two, first of all, I want to say that my managers are Avery Simpson, Maddie Hornbuckle, Mara, and Jaden Rushing. And I have two Manager of the Year awards. They go to Avery Simpson and Maddie Hornbuckle. I can't thank you enough, Avery, but I got you a small token of appreciation. Um, next, is, I want to give our um, team awards. Miss Hustle, can't say enough about this kid. She goes above and beyond every practice. So sometimes she raises her voice a bit and then I see some scowling eyes at her. And then I'm like, you better put those eyeballs back in your head because until you're working as hard as her, don't be angry about that scowling voice that she has. Um, our Miss Hustle Award goes to Morgan Irwin. <laughs> this young lady has worked so hard for so many years she has shown tremendous growth from her freshman year she doesn't always love the game of softball but when she's on the field she works so hard and she's so competitive she's really turned into a terrific leader and fighting hard award goes to kate ingram we had co-mvps this year as our stats show we have two dom very dominant players on the offensive end very dominant play players in the circle um, these two girls just really held us up this year in every aspect of the game. And our co-MVPs are Reese Betty and Jamie Varga. Yeah, <laughs> Reese girl. Uh, for the district awards, um, our honorable mention this year is Riley Ortega. Second team all district, Aaron Blackburn. Second team all district, Kay Ingram. First team all district, Jensen McTee. First team all district, Rindy Fetty. First team all district, Cecily Sandoval. Our superlatives uh, voted on by our district coaches. Um, I just think that we sh probably should have gotten even more superlatives than we did, but I'm so, so proud of the girls and uh, what they accomplished and the other schools. I mean, I, the other schools are scared of us. That's just how it is. When we step on the, on the field and the other schools are like, oh, here comes Farmersville, and they get super scared. And um, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of these girls for stepping out there and um, truly being a force to be reckoned with. And the district voted for these honors, and I think that they're pretty spot on. Utility Player of the Year goes to Jamie Varga. <laughs> Defensive Player of the Year goes to Morgan Irwin. And the MVP for the entire district goes to Reese Fetty. These next awards are all of the academic all district awards. I'm just going to call them pretty quickly so we can get them um, handed out. I do think that these are the most important awards as it's so tough, especially in the spring when they're playing multiple sports. They're pulled in a million directions. Um, they're still working so hard on the field. Then playing, all these kids play volleyball and all the things in the spring, tennis and track, and they still kept their grades up, and I'm so proud of them. Bailey Valiant, Riley Ortega. Morgan Irwin, Cecily Sandoval, Reese Fetty, Jensen McTee, Hannah Lazier, Kate Ingram, 
Amber Price, Jamie Varga, Serenity Clark, Rindy Fetty, Avery Simpson, Maddie Hornbuckle. These girls have been a joy to coach this year. Uh, we had a very small team coming out. 15 kids showed up and 15 kids lasted to the end and I couldn't be more proud of them. I do want to say a couple of words about my um, uh, seniors. Uh, first, I want to mention uh, Kate. I think that Kate Ingram has shown the most amount of growth at, as a young woman that I've seen in a really long time. Um, she's so loyal, she's so reliable, I can call her any time of the day and be like, Kate, can you please go set up the field? Kate, can you please bring me a Dr. Pepper? Kate, can you please go pick up whatever I, please go get me lunch, please pick up whatever I forgot. And she's there in the drop of a hat. She's proven to be a fantastic young woman. She's gonna do great things in whatever field she goes into. You're still doing dentistry, yeah? Going into that? Oh yeah, she's gonna be amazing at that. She's just a clutch kid that has really turned into a terrific young woman and we're really, really gonna miss her in our program next year. I also want to talk a bit about Reese Fetty. This kid is a once in a lifetime athlete. Hmm. She um, knows what hard work looks like and she never backs down from it. Uh, she's resilient, passionate, competitive. She stood on the mound, she stood in that circle for three years, almost all by herself because we didn't have a whole lot of a pitching staff and she, she never wavered. Um, she threw in uh, 100 degree heat, she threw in the freezing cold. Um, she's done all the things and she just stood her ground and has just been the ultimate best in all, in all the ways. She, her dad yelling in her ear, me yelling in her ear, a lot of pressure on her shoulders and she stood there and made it happen. I'm so proud of this kid and Texas A&M is really gaining a gem. And lastly, I want to thank Coach Fetty for standing strong with us uh, through the whole year. Um, his, he's having a few back problems here lately and he never once winced and stood up there and hit fungo like crazy and dealt with all my uh, shenanigans and craziness and held the fort down whenever I was getting a little bit hectic and unorganized and stressed out there in the end and I couldn't be more honored for him to stand uh, by my side and with us through um, these last couple of years. And again this is a great group of girls and our program is about to grow even more and more and be even stronger next year and I cannot wait to see what they bring out. Thanks girls. Great job, ladies. Coach Wilfong, district champion and more. We it was a joy to watch y'all play. Also a joy to watch our baseball. If we could have our varsity baseball guys head on up here. Coach Dorn. Okay, so as they're coming, I want to start, too, with some thank yous. And we've got a lot of thank yous. I, I think Coach Hacker sitting out there, Wave T-Hack, had a good-looking thing over there. Coach Hacker and Coach Klemek both do a lot for us, spend a lot of time with these kids. I think about Robert Norman, I'm sure he's out there somewhere tonight volunteering and being our scoreboard guy at games and our sound guy. David Coleman, a board member, being our PA guy, the voice out there for us. And, and those are things that I just take for granted, but they're always there. They, you know, they volunteer to do it, nobody makes them do it, and I appreciate them doing it, and these guys appreciate them doing it too. Rodney Dale counts pitches for us. Christy Dale is, is a team mom of the year. Mary Johnson organized the mothers. I mean, they, they do a lot for us, and we appreciate them doing that. Ernie Phelps at the maintenance department does so much to help us, and, and these guys don't even know it, and you don't know it, but it, that crew that he's got over there, if I call them, they come running, and we need them a lot. Um, the school board and administrators, you know, just to think about what's been done at the baseball field and the indoor facility that we have. And people tell me the baseball field looks good and it's because there's been some money and some effort put into it. And, and these guys certainly appreciate that. And so we're grateful for that. Coach Hankins and Coach Barnes for letting me be a baseball coach in the spring and not, and basically just focus on this. And, and I appreciate that. So it takes a lot of people and we've got a lot of people behind us and, and we're grateful for it. So our guys, they're not really in the order I want them to be in. I think that 
we're missing one guy. We'll figure out who that is in a second. Caden Norman's down here to our left. Caden was an academic all-district guy. He was a freshman, a guy that we, man, he was, he was good enough to play for us this year, and, and he didn't get a chance to. He's going to jump right in next year, and he'll replace somebody, and we won't miss a beat. We're really proud to have him, left-handed hitter, left-handed pitcher, an outfielder. We're, we're going to use the heck out of him. Colin Berry is up here somewhere. Where's Colin? I saw Colin, didn't I? Hello, Colin. How are you? Colin's got... Collins, another freshman outfielder that we used, and a left-handed pitcher and a left-handed hitter that we think is going to be a really good player for us. Caden was academic all-district. Colin was academic all-district and also an honorable mention all-district selection as an outfielder. Brady Gray is another freshman that we're proud to have, an academic all-district kid, a first-team all-district catcher. Um, you know, just a guy that I've been waiting on to be a farmer for a long time, and, and he didn't disappoint. We're really proud to have him and can't wait to see what he does. Logan Dale is up here, was a second-team all-district second baseman as a sophomore. Um, it's kind of a theme with our guys that, you know, Logan really hadn't played a lot of second base until this year, and, you know, we asked him to do it, and he jumped right in and became very good at it and had a good year, a lot of unselfishness in him, and I appreciate that. Cooper Strawn is up here, another sophomore. He was voted the underclassman of the year in our district. Um, another academic all-district kid. You can see that's kind of a theme with these guys. Cooper's a talented guy that's, that's going to be a big part of us for years. We're proud of the year he had. Luke Wilson. Did Luke make it? There's Luke. All right, so Luke, um, a junior guy. I, th I, thought, I thought Luke... I didn't give Luke a very good opportunity to help us, and I, I think about that a whole lot. He didn't get as many at-bats as what I would have hoped he did or what I thought he was going to at the beginning of the year. But I visited with Luke, and, and I think that Luke's got a future with us. We're going to figure out how to use him. He can help us. Jason Gomez, a first-team all-district infielder, an academic all-district kid. Again, just a blessing. People talk about what our new administrators have done for us. They brought Jason Gomez, and I let him. I get to, I get to put him in the lineup, and, and that's a win. So we're blessed to have him. Aiden Gray, a second-team all-district outfielder, another academic all-district kid who played center field for us this year, did a good job. Brennan Pollard, a second-team all-district infielder, another academic all-district kid. Surprised me a little bit, but he was. Um, <laughs> another, another, played shortstop for us, and he hadn't done just a whole lot of that, and he had a good year doing that. He was really good at the end, and so I'm proud of the year that he had. Hunter Woodruff, second-team all-district pitcher, another academic all-district kid that had a good senior year. Randy Johnson was the pitcher of the year in our district, and there's so many stories that go with that, but what an accomplishment that was for him. An academic all-district kid and a first-team academic all-state kid. Um, so Randy had a great year. And then we got Cody James down here. Where's Cody James? Hello, Cody James. Best dressed at the prom, I hear <laughs> Cody James was. Cody, Cody told me Cody hadn't played with us before. He came out this year. I was a little hesitant about letting Cody come out. I'm really glad I did let Cody come out. Cody told me he was going to be a great teammate, and he was. He smiled just like that every day. So I'm, I'm really proud that Cody was with us. And then Kogan is sitting out there. Kogan, you don't have to come up here, but I want – Kogan Grabowski was our – I don't know if you call him a manager or a – statistician, a game changer guy. I, I liked it when Kogan was with us, and he was with us most of the time and, um, and ran the game changer for us. And, and so I wanted to recognize him as well. We're going to miss him um, as a senior as much as anybody. So grateful for all these guys. I, 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 unselfish was the key word from the beginning. Um, all of them sacrificed. All of them gave up doing what they wanted to do to a, to a degree in order to do what we needed them to do. And, and that's what gave us a chance to be successful. So. We've got two awards that we're going to give out, a Fighting Heart Award and an MVP. Our Fighting Heart Award is going to be for Hunter Woodruff. Here you go, Woodruff. And then our MVP was Randy Johnson. All right, thank you. Thank you, Coach Norton. All right. If I could have our cheerleaders come up and is Miss Coach Duque, Duque here. Duque? I say that right? Duque. Hey, how are you? I'm nice Coach Barnes. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. That's pretty bad. That's on me. That's on me, all right? Okay.
Tonight I'd like to recognize the 2021 uh, varsity and JV cheerleaders. So girls, when I call you up, or y'all can go ahead and start coming up, I'm gonna give you your certificate. Uh, Phoebe Attaway. Lexi Hacker. Paige Lair. Michaela Grabowski. I think that's all for um, varsity. Uh, for JV, uh, Cecily Sandoval. Savannah Johnson. Maddie Toll. And I think that's all that's here for, for JV. All right, I just want to say that these girls work really hard every uh, week um, at the pep rallies and at the football games and also working hard putting the sign together every other week and on Sundays and painting and putting in all that hard work. So I'd like for everyone to give them a round of applause for all the hard work they do every day. All right, thank you. Uh, also, uh, we're fixing to talk about our, our volleyball awards. I do want to announce this. Coach Harold Davis, again, is our volleyball coach, but we did, uh, thanks to our administration, got to add the position of girls athletic coordinator. Uh, we interviewed five people, and uh, Coach Davis, we feel like we really got a, a good man to take care of that for us. Coach Davis, thank you. Look forward to a lot of good work, and thank you for that. You earned Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, if I could get the uh, varsity girls and managers to come to the stage, seniors on this side, please. And while they're walking up, if y'all would just hold your applause, I'm going to go through uh, appreciations and thank yous, which several people's already hit on, but I feel like every program needs to acknowledge these because it's very important. Uh, first of all, our administration. Uh, wow. Uh, the changes have been made in a year is just second to none. And you talk about a group that will support athletics and the school system beyond belief. We have that in place now, so I'm looking forward to the future because we're headed in a direction that's nothing, nowhere but up. So I would like to thank them. Uh, Barnes, thank you Coach Barnes for giving me the opportunity to be the girls coordinator. Uh, I'm really uh, excited about this position and what it's gonna help on the girls side. And also I wanna thank uh, Mr. French and the school board for everything that you've done. It's second to none. It's, uh, I've been in several places. It's amazing what is done when you got the right leadership. Uh, Mr. Calloway is a great principal. He'll do anything you ask that will support our kids. So I wanna thank all of them. Next, I'd like to thank our coaching staff. I have uh, Coach Alford, was our JV coach. She did an amazing job. Uh, we called her Rook. She's probably tired of us calling her Rook. We won't have too much longer because thanks to administration, we're adding two new girls coaches next year, and one of them's right out of college, so she'll be the new Rook. So Coach is happy about that. We won't have to call her Rook anymore. And, and thank Coach Hogue. She was our other JV coach. She does an amazing job. Uh, coach, thank you for keeping me in line and keeping my head from swelling any more than it does. You do an awesome job at that. And... Uh, I also would like to thank my junior high coaches, uh, Coach D, my wife, she's out there in the stands. And without uh, the great junior high coaches, your high school teams will not be very successful. It starts down there with teaching the fundamentals, getting the skill work that's required to advance on up in the high school. And she does a great job with that. Coach Fetty at the junior high, I think he's watching. Thank you, we miss you, man. Get, get well soon and do what your wife and doctor says. I know how you are. I'd like to thank Coach Chase for helping us out at the junior high as well this year. He did an amazing job. And last but not least, our managers. Uh, which one of our managers are here today? Audrey. Got Audrey and Avery. <laughs> Those two, they keep me in line, just like Coach said earlier. They are so organized that we don't even have to worry about where our equipment is. Uh, where the clock is, how much time put on the clock, they, they just automatically do it. And Audrey's going to be severely missed next year as a senior. She's done that for several years for us. 
and it's just amazing what she does. I'm, I'm very appreciative of both of our managers. So uh, those are the thank yous we'd like to give right now. And also to end with Mr. G and his crew and what they bring to the table a second to none. That live stream and the brazzles, I know y'all are out there somewhere too for announcing the games. It, it was amazing. I mean, it was just like a college game being broadcast. So thank you guys for that. Y'all give every one of them a round of applause now. All right, now we'll talk about uh, the season we had this year. Once again, we were fortunate and blessed. These girls, a lot of them go out and play extra ball, and, and, you know, and that contributes to their success. They get a lot of touches throughout the year. It was another great ride. Our first goal was to win our fourth consecutive district championship this year. And so the girls marked out on their calendar over the summer. I know COVID hit in, but they still was able to work out on their own, and they did an amazing job of that. And... We cruised through district with a record of nine and one. We became co-district champs, so that was our fourth district championship in a row. Good job, girls. <laughs> After we do that, we come up with our new goal. Our new goal was to get back to the regional tournament, okay? And we knew that was gonna be a tough you know, road to hoe because uh, everybody had us on their, t their list. You know, we're the bullseye right now, uh, and that's a tribute to these girls and the hard work that they've put in. And we made up with three strong teams to get us there, and these girls swept them all, all the way to the regional tournament. We uh, won three playoff games in a sweep, so that's what we're talking about with these young ladies up here. They're an amazing group, and I can't be more proud of what they were able to accomplish getting back to the regional tournament. Once we got to the regional tournament, we ran into our old foe, Kennedale. Well, Kennedale's a a whole different level because they got about 1,200 kids in high school and we got about 550. They, they bring a faster paced offense than most they can bring. Year, last year, we didn't even take a set off of them. They just kind of ran the floor with us. But this year, it was a heck of a match. Uh, these girls fought tooth and nail from the start to the finish. It, it was an amazing game. I know most, most of y'all were there. It was a packed gym and we appreciate the support that you give them. Uh, but once again, these girls were a regional tournament team, so give them a round of applause for that. And I'll give you a little bit of their history before I go into our awards. Uh, that's four in a row district champions, four in a row by district champions, four in a row area champs, three in a row regional quarterfinal champs, and three in a row regional semifinalists. Uh, that's an amazing job, and that's a tribute to this senior class on what type of leadership they have brung since they got into high school. Uh, they've just, th their tenacity on the court and in the classroom is second to none. They lead by example. Anybody can talk the talk, but these young ladies walk the walk. And, and that's just what they do. And I hope all the younger ones uh, will pick up on what they're doing because, you know, it it's just comes from your heart, okay? They chose to be champions. Amen. They chose it. So... Y'all can choose it too, because four times you know, in a row, what they've been able to do is amazing, but the rest of you can do it as well. So uh, y'all got big shoes to fill, but I've got high expectations and I don't mind getting down at the track and fixing things if we need to. So <laughs> uh, Kate just said she's glad she's not gonna be a part of that anymore. Okay, now I wanna talk about this group over here, then we'll get to our awards, uh, these seniors. These seniors were fifth graders when we moved here. So they're definitely, they're our kids too. Nope, not today. Uh, we've been through this before. I've had, we had our year end thing and I didn't hold it together very well, but I'm going to today. Uh, they're a uh, wonderful group. They're talented, hardworking, dedicated. Uh, they're just an amazing group and what they may be able to accomplish in all sports is just second to none. This group of young ladies exemplifies what it's like to be a champion. They were undefeated in junior high. They never lost one set in volleyball their seventh and eighth grade year. Their varsity record over the past seven years, so they've been a part of that too, is 78 and six in district with an overall record of 226 and 42. That's six district championships four undefeated, six by district champions, six area championships, four regional quarterfinal championships, three regional semifinalists, and one regional finalist. 
Give them a round of applause. That's amazing. Okay. And seniors, y'all will be dearly missed. Love you girls. Let me know if I can do anything to help you out in the future because I'm just a, I used to say phone call away. Now it's Snap, Facebook, what, what's the other ones? Help me out here. Twitter, Instagram. Uh, yeah, all that stuff, you know. So all the technology today, you're just that far away to get help. I must present the academic all district and all state. To be academic all district, so everybody kind of knows what that is, they have to maintain a 90 or higher to be considered academic all district. And we have several that did that, but we also had several that were academic all state. All state is you have to be a senior and maintain a 94 or higher all four years. So that's a huge accomplishment in itself is, you know, being able to be academic all state time you're a senior. And here are their award winners for that. Academic All District first, Avery Simpson. Audrey Boring. Randy Fetty. Riley Tuck. Angie Lee. Jensen McTee. Lexi Hacker, Riley Ortega, Hannah Lazier. Now these young ladies were both academic, all district and all state. Alex Brooks, Wendy Trejo, Kate Ingram, Kylie Self, and Reese Fetty. And we preach that pretty much on a weekly basis, if not daily, about their grades and how more important that is than anything you can do athletically, because that's what's going to create your future is what you do in the classroom. And so these young ladies exemplify that, and you can tell by how many times they've won this academic all district. So good job, ladies, on that. That's amazing. Now I'm going to go over the all district selections. These are selected by the district coaches. Honorable mention in volleyball was Rendy Fetty and Lexi Hacker. Second team all district, Wendy Trejo and Kylie Self. First team all district, Kate Ingram, Jensen McTee, and Alex Brooks. And then for the superlatives in the district, both of these young ladies that received a superlative, it was a unanimous vote. That means they got every vote from every coach. The newcomer of the year was Angie Lee. And our unanimous district MVP, once again, Reese Fetty. Reese Fetty also uh, received a couple other awards. Uh, she got uh, TGCA, which is the Texas Girls Coach Association, All-State. She was the All-State player for, their, for the Texas Girls Coach Association. <laughs> Last year, she was selected to play in the All-Star game down at the clinic. Uh, due to COVID, the clinic was canceled, so she didn't get to play in it. But they added what's called the Legacy All-Star. That's for the seniors. The one before is for juniors. She was also selected this year for the Legacy All-Star, Reese Fetty. Okay, now we'll do our local awards. We have the Fighting Farmer Award. This award is given to a couple young ladies that they do everything you ask. They work hard, have a great attitude, and losing is not an option for them. Lexi Hacker and Kylie Self. Our defensive player of the award is kind of hard when you're uh, fortunate enough to be as successful these young ladies have. You can't really just pick one because there's, you got to have more than one good player to be this successful. And this one, you know, defense in volleyball is not only digging, it's blocking. 
So we kind of combined the two, took the one with the most blocks and then the ones with the most digs. And these young ladies that re received this Defensive Player of the Award is Angie Lee, Wendy Trejo, and Kate Ingram. And the same thing on the Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, I'll take whoever had the most assist, and that's when you set the ball and you get a kill off of it with the one who had the most kills. Uh, actually, this young lady had the second most kills because the one with the most kills is MVP. So Jensen McTee and Alex Brooks. <laughs> and then it's kind of been a common theme at the other sports, but this one as well. Uh, you get a special athlete like this maybe two or three times in your coaching career, and it changes the outcome of lots of sports and lots of games. This young lady works her tail off in every sport, wants to be so successful at everything she does. She leads by example. She never does it by talking, and, and that's what makes her special. She leads by example. Our MVP is Reese Fetty. I'd like to thank every one of y'all for uh, supporting us throughout the year. These young ladies uh, deserve it. They uh, put in all the time it takes to be as successful as they have been. And I'm so looking forward to the future. And I'm looking forward to a couple of them that are going to play in college next year. You have Reese Fetty who's going to play in college and Wendy Trejo both. Uh, we will be supporting you guys. Hopefully y'all play close enough. I know Reese will, but hopefully Wendy does. And we'll go watch them play as well. Your uh, 2020 Lady Farmers. Thank you, ladies. Great job, Harold. Hey, good job. That is an amazing record, Coach Davis. I, I didn't realize once you laid all that out, I mean, four district championships in a row, those are amazing things. Thank you very much. If I get all the varsity football players from 2020 to please come up here. And while they're making their way up here, I, I want to thank, uh, obviously, our administration, Mr. French, Mr. Callaway, Mr. Farrell, Mr. Gomez, Micah Taylor, everybody that, that's there behind us to support us, our school board members, our parents, and mostly our kids. And I know my wife, Connie, y'all haven't got to meet her yet, but she's really something else. Live streaming, baby. Hi. Hey. I know. She's probably going to shut up. I know. All right, so uh, talking about uh, last season, we had a group of seniors I know that have done nothing but work their tails off to be farmers. And I want to recognize all those seniors that are here tonight that played football. If you could just step forward and you're a senior right now. Guys, I just appreciate every one of you. You're a football player and that means a lot to me. You're a farmer, that means the world to me. And once a farmer, always a farmer. Thank you for your hard work and everything that you did. It's amazing. Uh, we can't recognize you all the way we want to, but I want to say this. I know you're tough as nails, and you seniors that are moving on, go represent Farmersville. Wear that purple and gold wherever you're at. You guys that are going to be back next year, love where your feet are. Let's make a difference in everything we do, and we'll be champions by choice. Gentlemen, you can be a champion by choosing what you do every day. You can also choose not to go that way. Life is about a bunch of choices. That's why you need your parents, your coaches, and your teachers. We are here to help you, believe it or not. And after 40 years in this business, I know there's a lot of good ones out there. Thank you again, you seniors that are graduating. Thank you, and I'm not going to be able to honor you in the way you deserve. Just know that I love you. Even though I don't know you, you're a football player, and thank you very much. Our awards are... All right, we're going to uh, 2021 Farmersville Times Outstanding Offensive Back Award goes to two people, Braden Lair and Travis Segaro. <laughs> All right, JW Spain Achievement Award goes to Lalo Ortega.
Walmart, Farmers Bills time outstanding defensive lineman goes to Kogan Grabowski. All right, our uh, outstanding offensive lineman, which if anybody knows me, offensive linemen, they're pretty special in my heart. In fact, I tell my two daughters who are about starting to, whether they're 22 and 26, find an offensive lineman. They're humble, they don't have an ego, and they'll take care of you all your life. So y'all remember that, girls, offensive lineman. All right, we had two. Eber Padilla, who was first team all district, and Jeremy Chares, who was honorable mention all district, lineman of the year. All right, the Farmers Bill Times Sportsmanship Award, which sometimes people think these are very important. Fighting Hearts and Sportsmanship Awards, sometimes uh, we look different at them, but that's why we're here. 2021 Sportsmanship Award is Elijah Ellis and Mr. Randy Johnson. Hey, Randy, I don't even know you. Well, come here. Thank you. I said, hey, take that home and have a picture made with you. What'd you say? Yes, sir. Thank you. It means the world to me. Appreciate it. So, uh, Mary Hernandez, what I do? I got one more. I'm so sorry. Fighting Farmer Award. This is a, the most important one. This one goes to two grays, Hudson Gray and Aiden Gray. 2021 20, Fighting Heart Award. Gentlemen, I had a devil of a time looking up all district and academic all district and trying to find it. You know if you made it. If you made academic all district, please step forward. Yeah, we got some smart guys too, I promise you. <laughs> Gentlemen, I had a list of who received uh, 64A Division II all district honors. If you guys would back up one more time, if you did receive honorable mention or up, for football, please step forward. All right. <laughs> Gentlemen, we can never honor you enough. It's 140 degrees on the turf. You're out there busting it, and that's why I just love being around football players. You seniors that are going on, we love you. Go make a difference. Represent Farmersville the way that it deserves. You guys that are juniors, going to be seniors? Make sure you do good so I get to be up here next year or they'll fire me. Now, come on. Let's go. Right? Huh? Hey, here's the last thing I am going to say. This is no stepping, forward jo stepping stone job for me. This is my last picture show. And thank God that God chose me to be here in Farmersville because it's a dream come true. It is my dream job. Don't ever forget it. All right, guys, sit down real quick. Coach Harold Davis, our girls athletic coordinator, head volleyball coach, is going to uh, give our final two awards. Two? One award. Yes. All right, it's my honor to give this award. Uh, this is a female athlete of the year award. Uh, th this young lady, you know, we've talked about her pretty much all night, but she's worth talking about because she is. She's a bright light on the girls' side. Uh, she was an MVP in. Softball in the district, MVP volleyball, offensive player in basketball. She just does things right. And she was a district runner up in tennis. Whatever sport she gets into, she, she sells out. Sells out in the classroom, sells out with life. She'll do anything if you ask her to do something and she'll go do it for you without hesitation. It's, it's a yes, sir. There's no, well, how come I got to do that? Why am I going to do that? You know? It, that's why she's where she's at, okay? She makes great choices, and she represents the farm in a very special way. Reese Fetty. Male Athlete of the Year at Farmersville 
Josh Hoare, if you'd come on up here. He's the winner. You know, I was going to ask another coach, you know, to talk about Josh, but I can. I've been watching him since January 4th play basketball and get after it in track. And I can tell you right now, just at this point, he's, a, he's a, got a great heart. He loves his teammates. He gives everything he can for Farmersville and gets after it. And so, Josh, that's why we, on the male side of this, gave you Athlete of the Year. Congratulations. <laughs> Hudson Gray, come on. All right, well, hey, you guys and gals have your picture made with your plaques here. And if you, when you're through, bring them back up here. But take your time, have your pictures made. Reese, thank you for the invocation starting off. What a tough day, Dad going into surgery. Coaches, thank you. We're all, this, we're us now. Thank you. I can't believe that y'all allowed me to be here, but thank you because we are farmers. And we're going to get after it. I promise you that. All right. Anything else I need? I think we're good to go. 810? I've been living right. All right. Thank y'all for being here tonight. Hudson will dismiss us. Will you please bow your heads? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us here tonight as a community and keeping us safe and healthy throughout our athletic seasons. Thank you for blessing us with this wonderful food this evening, and thank you for the coaches and teachers that shape us and make us into the student athletes that we are today. Lastly, we pray that you guide us through the remainder of the school year. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hudson, that's a great job. Parents, student athletes, everybody, you are dismissed. Thank you, Booster Club, for tonight.